Today, we're going to be looking at a handful of really useful and interesting tips and tricks for your Google Home. Whether you have a Google Home Hub or Home Max, you'll be able to use most, if not all, of these tricks yourself. First up is night mode. If you'd like to have your home automatically dim the LED brightness and lower its maximum volume at night, it's simple to set up. Open the Home app on your phone and select the device you'd like to set up night mode for. Tap settings and then scroll down to night mode. Here you can adjust the schedule and other preferences for night mode. As you're winding down for bed, you probably want to set an alarm for the morning. With the Google Home, you can have it wake you up to music. Simply say, set song X for 6 a.m. tomorrow, or something along those lines. Additionally, you can fall asleep to music if that's your style. Simply tell your home to play your favorite music, artists, playlists, etc. for a certain amount of time or until a specific time. After you've turned on night mode and headed to bed, and if listening to music as you fall asleep isn't your thing, you can have the home play white noise to help you fall asleep. Simply say, play white noise. Continued conversation is a really awesome feature of the home that allows you to keep talking to it in a conversational manner. Here's how you can enable it. In the home app, tap on account, settings, assistant, continued conversation, and toggle it on. Now you'll be able to ask follow-up questions to your home without having to repeat the trigger phrase over and over. If you've got multiple home speakers around the house, you can actually broadcast a message. To do this, simply tell one hub to broadcast, I'm going to the store and that message will be repeated across all your home speakers. If you've got multiple people who want to use your Google Home, Google suggests you set up multiple users. To do this, open the Home app and go into Account, Settings, Voice Match, Invite Others to Use Your Devices. You'll be able to share a link with other family members so that they can set up their profiles for your smart speakers. It's easy to forget where you've placed your phone. Luckily, you can use the Google Home to find your phone. Just tell your home to ring my phone, and it will find it even if it's set to Do Not Disturb. If you have a Chromecast that's hooked up to an HDMI CEC device, you can actually turn on the TV using your home. Just tell it to turn on the Chromecast, or whatever you've named the Chromecast inside of settings. Routines are a really great way to have a bunch of actions fired off with a single command. The good morning routine is bundled by default, and it takes your phone off of silent, adjusts your smart devices, if you have any, tells you about the weather, commute, calendar, and reminders, and then follows it up with the news. To create your own custom routines, simply go into Account, Settings, Assistant, Routines, and tap the plus button. Sometimes the home just isn't cutting it with regards to the base or treble. You can adjust this by tapping on the home device you'd like to adjust, tap on the Settings gear icon, then open the equalizer. One little known use for the home is as a Bluetooth speaker. Here's how to send audio from any device to the home. First, open the Home app and open the settings for the specific home speaker you'd like to use as a Bluetooth speaker. Tap on Paired Bluetooth Devices and Enable Pairing Mode. Then, on the device you'd like to send audio from, turn on Bluetooth and select the Now Enabled Home Speaker. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up as that helps a lot. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the Android Police channel. If you'd like to subscribe to my personal channel as well, feel free to click on my face here. My name is Jackson Hayes, and this is Android Police.